Joe Biden has arrived in the UK on Air Force One ahead of the G7 summit in Cornwall. He touched down at RAF Milden Hall in Suffolk on Wednesday evening, beginning his first overseas trip as US president. A large crowd of US Air Force personnel and their families were waiting for him inside a hangar, where he addressed them. He said, at every point along the way we are going to make it clear that the United States is back and democracies of the world are standing together to tackle the toughest challenges and the issues that matter most to our future. The UK and US, as founding members of NATO, were part of the strongest military and political alliance in the history of the world, he said. Now we need to modernize our alliance, investing in our critical infrastructure, our cyber capabilities and to keep us secure against every threat we've faced over the last decade, and the new challenges we are about to face as well. After his time at Milden Hall, Mr. Biden flew to Newquay before traveling on to Trigena Castle in Carbus Bay. He will meet Prime Minister Boris Johnson tomorrow before the G7 begins in Carbus Bay on Friday. After the summit, which also includes leaders from Canada, Japan, France, Germany, and Italy, Mr. Biden and the First Lady will meet the Queen at Windsor Castle before the President meets NATO leaders in Belgium and then Russian President Vladimir Putin in Switzerland. Speaking about his meeting with Mr. Putin, Mr. Biden said the U.S. was not seeking conflict but would respond in a robust and meaningful way if Russia engaged in harmful activities. Mr. Johnson has said he wants to discuss the COVID-19 pandemic and urge other leaders to do more to vaccinate the rest of the world, but it is likely the growing Brexit trade row and its effect on the Northern Ireland peace process will also come up. Mr. Biden's national security adviser Jake Sullivan has warned that the president has very deep concerns on the issue, adding that the post-Brexit Northern Ireland Protocol is critical to ensuring that the Good Friday Agreement is protected.